Okay, coaches, uh, tonight we wanted to talk about what I call our other fronts. Um, these are different looks for your OCs um, to have to chart up, and definitely a different look, probably much more importantly, a different look for the OL to have to diagnose on Friday night. Um, causes doubt, maybe a little confusion. It goes right along with our smoke and mirrors concept and our control chaos or our mess concept. You know, it just gives us a chance to possibly get in a 4-2-ish, 4-4 look or uh, even front with different types of alignments. Maybe even a 3-4 look, uh, maybe even semi to a bear look. And it, it, it just can help us um, with personnel matchups or, or maybe game plan, you know, to what somebody does. It might just give you a, give you a little edge there. Um, these are definitely curveballs, and uh, I think I still think that the you know we're still stacked in this concept, but the true stack to me is is more difficult to block. But we're still holding true to our stack concept. Um, you know, again, formationally, personnel wise, it, this distance may give you a chance to match up, but still be able to run your stuff. So I got a couple examples of each, and then you can take it in any you know any direction how far you want to go with it. The first is just a tight call, and if we just call tight, this is our alignment right here. Um, not that we talk in terms of techniques to them, but you know the nose is still head up zero. We're in a four eyes. We just tell them to get on the inside eye four eye with the ends there. Uh, of course, then your dogs bump out the outside eye, and then your stud and your nose are still playing playing their games. So, you know, dogs are being C-gap players, reading through the guards. The ends are taking a gap, reading through the guards. And, and that's the general rule. Again, I think we talked about this on the nose front. If you're in a gap, take a gap. So um, let's take a look at one one combination of this call, and you can just call that tight and play it from there. Combination on this call would be a uh, if we say say we call tight and you know we knew they're a big time run team power run team uh, if we're in tight and they came up with a three man surface here the bandit's gonna walk down by rules you're you're Vic, depending on what you did on the backside and you got all kind of games you could play with a backside bandit that's why I left him off. Again, we got the games in the middle here we could play, but you're very close to being in a in a bare front, and it, and it gives that that look that doubt, you know, to the O lineman there. What about what if this? What if that? And we're constantly moving with the linebackers, and the, and the rules are the same. If I'm in the gap, take the gap. So, say I called tight and I came up with a three man surface, then we would get close to looking like a bare front. Next one is a combination of another call we've went over before. Okay, it'll be tight nose. And it just combines the same rules again we went over on nose. Um, right here, um, you know, the, the stud and the nose are in the gap. Take the gap. Let a stud choose. Y'all can play games right there. Um, you know, all D-linemen are in the gap. Take the gap. Um, reading the guards blocks every every man with a hand on the ground is trying to read the guards block you know if it were a three-man service then the bandit would walk back down right here again and we even have a fuller box um you know you could call you could play games with your cowboy you twist up here your max rodeo just to the right or, or lasso just to the left but just calling tight nose right there would be a great run stopper uh, you could run an out call here, tight out, and you can loop this guy and bring the dogs back down in B. So, again, combination of your, of your calls that we've already discussed on our base calls. So, if we go to our wide look, go down to wide here. Okay. And then we'll just look at the base call first. 
Um, again, the nose and the stud are still playing their game. All we've done with the ends is, is bump them out to, to uh, outside eye. 50 technique, but we just say outside eye. And then dogs bump into inside eye. Um, still reading through the guards with the dogs. Um, the ends do have to read the tackle's block now. That's a little bit different. But basically, they're just working off one another. The dogs and the ends are not, not really trying to overthink this thing at all. If in a gap, take the gap. Um, you know, it may be good. I was just thinking it may be good on a true zone read team where you would rather have this dog running the backside and having this end squatting down. Um, it just it just may give, give you a look there. So that's wide, and that's just a base call. Next one will be wide with a two and or a four blitz. And so right here is the two blitz. You can do it either way. I drew, I drew it opposite on each side. You could do it either way. Um, so this is what a two and a four blitz. You can combine, do by yourself. You know, the nose and the stud are the same. Again, let them work their, where, uh, we'll let them work their game out. Again, um, let the kids choose on how they want to make this blitz work. And then they, they feel like they have ownership and, and it's fun for them. So we could just let it go right here. I know I got a two call right here. Dog might even not tell a soul. He's just taking B right now. Right here, we had a four call. He's going to go up and communicate loop back inside here. He's coming around the corner hard. That might be a good pass rush stunt. Um, uh, the, kid, the kids will have fun with it. They'll like it. So the next one is wide. And this is a combination call we've gone over on our three-by-one stuff when we went over our bull, how to bulldog that thing. So you may have to peek back at that, but this would be called wide bulldog. Okay. So we're out in the outside eye again. Okay. I called bulldog. So that moved the dog out here to say they're three by one. So they got the trips, trips out here and, uh, you know, single receiver side. You could play the game with the bandit here, pulling the string on three by one, but we went bulldog. So we won't stud in the middle. We we'll want to move head up the guard ish, okay. And this gives us that three four look, okay. If we were sending our bulldog on a blitz, he's going to have to communicate with this defensive end who is outside C gap here. He's running a loop stunt down in the B right now. That's just common sense. If I'm coming hard C, send him on down in the B, and it just creates a good little game there. Uh, like I said, gets you in a you know a three four look. Good way to play trips here. You got all kind of different uh, gap exchanges going on here. You could combine a 30 or a 40 call here, however you want it. Um, you can take it any direction you want to go. So, you know, on, the, on these calls, you put the combinations together. There are endless combinations. Would you ever run all of them? No. It's a game plan. Um, so, you know, once you get your rules in from your base, the, the week you put your base in, I got a whole series coming up on how to insert this defense and then where to go from there. But once you once you get your base in, you know, it's just apply the rules. And I just think it gives you a chance by create, creating a doubt in the O-line's mind. Um, you can get away with some things on the front there. You know, and I, I really love – no huddle, up tempo. I believe in it for offense, and that that would just be a lot going on for that OL. He sees us in tight, he sees us in wide, sees us in stack, he sees us a combination of that with nose, and there's stunt and twisting going on as well. So that that's a lot going on in their mind, and it's a, a lot of smoke and mirrors, honestly, on the defense. But you know, you don't need but one run through now. Now that offense is off schedule, so. All we're trying to do is mix and match some fronts, not sit in the same thing, give you more to think about, um, low investment, potential high return, get your rules in. Um, thanks for watching, coaches. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Give me some comments. Please give me some answers. Tell me what you're doing. Thanks for watching.